Hello everyone, welcome back to another RL Craft video. This is episode 3, and I hope you enjoy. So, the first thing I wanted to do in this episode is to tame a rock. Now, a rock is just a giant flying bird that I can ride that will allow me to fly and get places quickly and safely. Now, once I do that, I want to first of all make a soul stone, an avian soul stone, which I'll need a lot of diamonds and ender pearls for. But once I do both those things, I can loot a ton of battle towers where I can get even more diamonds, some powerful accessories, some like heart shards, some a bunch of just different resources that I all need right now. So in order for me to actually tame a rock, I made myself a rock platform here, and I'm hoping this will allow me to get a vantage point and also stay off the ground where all the other mobs are. So I should just be able to sit here and look out for rocks. And if one does happen to fly near, I should be able to aggro with these snowballs, but if that doesn't work, then I will have to leave the platform to chase it down, which will hopefully end well, but you never can know. Alright, we got a rock in sight. Let's see if I can aggro it. Come on. I don't know if any of those hit. I don't think they did. Snowballs are hard to aim. Oh, did I hit it? If I did, it didn't care. Okay. It just dropped a creeper, so this is the time to tame it. Boom. Alright, I got it. Now I need to get back to my base quickly and put this guy away before he attacks something and dies. I'm going to get to my base and immediately sleep. Well, that guy headshotted me. And hopefully the rock will be fine. Boom. Alright. Oh, he's carrying a skeleton. Okay. So the next thing I have to do is get a soul stone for my rock, because if he dies right now, he can't respawn. He only has five hearts, so he'll probably die pretty quickly too. But once I have a soul stone and I apply it to him, I can teleport him wherever I want, and he can also, most importantly, respawn. But before I get the soul stone, I have to get the diamonds to craft the soul stone, which means I have to build a strip mine, which I have not done yet. So I have to do that. And hopefully I can find the two diamonds that I need for the soul stone pretty quickly. So after some mining, I now have everything that I need for the soul stone. If I go over to the crafting table, all I have to do is place four gold in the corners. I'm pretty sure it's a diamond in the middle. Then bones in the other slots. And I can make a soul gazer, which I can now turn into a soul stone with these diamonds. Just like this, soul stone. Use on a tamed creature to bind it to your spirit, allowing you to summon and dismiss it anywhere in any time. Oh, and I get to keep the soul gazer. I didn't expect that. Alright, so let's click on this guy with the soul stone. Boom. My rock has been bound, and I will now find it in my mount manager. So let's pull out the pets. And, okay, if I go into mount. Yes, there's the rock right here. Now that my rock is soul bound, I can now go loot a bunch of battle towers, but before I do that, there's two things I want to make. One is another heart canister, so that's one more heart for me, and the second is an antique atlas. So the way that the antique atlas works is if I have it selected in my hotbar, then I right click, it opens up this little book here. Now I can add markers anywhere, so if I put like right on my cursor, a marker, and if I select the house, because I'm in my house right now, press done, boom. Now I have a marker right on my house. And I can also scroll and zoom out anywhere I want. And I can also have the cursor follow my player. Then if I move, you can see in the top right hand corner that the map is moving with me. This also makes it a lot easier to see villages and stuff like that because they're already marked on the map. Alright, so I did manage to loot one battle tower and I got a ton of good loot but the actual fight wasn't very good so i'm not even going to include it in the video and on the way back i did die and all of the stuff did despawn however i did have the foresight to put all of the good loot on the rocks chest as you can see it's all right here because i did know there was a chance that i would die to hypothermia so i thought i would stash this away for uh, safekeeping and i got an aussie liner which is really good this will basically keep me hot or cold depending on the temperature outside and this will basically negate the temperature mod completely 
which is good because it, that mod is a nuisance. I died so much to hypothermia in between previous clips. And I also got these two, I don't know what they do. They, they're they rare and used in crafting recipes, I assume. I got a saddle, so I can ride any new tames that I might get in the future. And 35 diamonds. I'm going to make armor and a sword, maybe even a bow, depending on how much I hate money. Alright, so I think it's finally time to make some good gear. So let's make the chest plate first. Then we'll go for the boots. The leggings and of course the helmet I can get it there we go now let's make a diamond rapier just because I think it will be helpful I've been waiting for this day for a long time it's finally not winter the snow is melted and the temperature is normal no more hypothermia for me for at least a you know a couple minutes I'd say anyways this will make exploring a lot easier I'm not going to be taking any cold damage, and summer is a lot easier than winter, so I'm not really going to have to deal with extreme temperatures for a long time. Now, the only thing I can really do, or at least the only thing I can think of doing at the moment, is, you know, leveling up my magic skill so that I can actually enchant. I think it's level 16 before I can even hold an enchantment table, and yeah, I definitely want protection on my armor, fortune on my pickaxe, you know, sharpness on my sword, all of the stuff you would expect. And probably more because I'm sure there are custom enchants in this mod. Okay, so I got the level necessary to use an enchantment table, but I haven't actually gotten an enchantment table yet. I thought there was one in the village, but there wasn't one there whenever I went back to check. So I am going to have to craft one. I didn't want to craft one because I can find them in naturally generated structures, so it seemed kind of wasteful. But, you know, if I'm going to have to craft an enchantment table, then that's what's going to have to happen. Now, the actual gameplay portion of this video ends here. Um, I did want to talk more about the future of this series and the future of the channel, so if you're interested in that, then um, you know, feel free to stick around. But if you are here just for the RL craft, then I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. However, if you did want to stick around for the future of this series and channel, then this part of the video is for you. So let's start with the future of this series. Now this series is going to be pretty short. I'm thinking maybe to episode 5. This is episode 3. You know, I might do more videos, but I really can't see the series going beyond episode 7. Just because I am progressing very fast. I already have diamond armor. And I did want to, you know, give this series proper closure. I've never actually done that before. I've never officially ended a series and said, hey, this video is the last episode. I've never done that before, and I wanted to do that with this series. Also, this series is very time consuming. You know, as fun as RL Craft is, it is very difficult. And, you know, if I'm dying every you know, five minutes, then that's a lot of just running back to get my stuff and not a lot of actually recording content. Now, going more into the future of this channel, I do have other series that I also want to work on. First of all, you know, what's going to be replacing RL Craft is I want it to always have a modded, you know, mod pack minecraft thing going on so i wanted to do sky factory next that's also on curseforge i thought it looked really cool now i did a high pixel sky block video um well, not video it's this whole series actually prior to this and it's still technically going but i'm telling you right now i'm probably not going to upload any more high pixel sky block videos but yeah sky block has been it's interested me in the past and i think sky factory looks really cool i'm probably going to do a series on that right after this and i'm also still uploading my calamity series on terraria um my next video is probably either really going to be sky factory or calamity one of the two i'm not going to be ending the calamity series for a long time now so don't worry about that if you like that series but yeah i'm going to focus more on other things other than rl craft at least for a little while However, I do want to still end this series. I'm probably going to go until I get Tide Guardian Armor, which is the best in the game. I'm pretty sure I have to do more research, but I'm pretty sure Tide Guardian Armor is the best. And I also want to kill a dragon. Both of which will probably happen pretty soon before episode 5. Anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next Minecraft or Terraria video. See ya.